And now to the Trump presidency and the national emergency the president declared today to get funding for a border wall that's created a new battle between Mr. Trump and members of Congress. Democrats are threatening legal action, while Republicans are split on the president's action. I'm going to be signing a national emergency. President Trump officially declared a national emergency to get $8 billion for a steel southern border barrier. The declaration comes after Congress passed a spending bill to keep the government open, a bill that only includes $1.3 billion for a border barrier. Sounds like a lot, but it's not so much, although we're putting it to much better use than it used to be. The president is pulling the bulk of the money from the Defense Department budget, including $3.6 billion in military construction funding. Reaction from congressional Republicans has been mixed. Maine Senator Susan Collins put out a statement that said, I don't believe that the National Emergencies Act contemplates a president unilaterally relocating billions of dollars. It also sets a bad precedent for future presidents. Other Republicans stand by the president using his executive authority. Obviously, the president and his attorneys have looked at it. It's got to be legal for him to do it. Democrats are calling the move a power grab and intend to take legal action. Likelihood is that we will be filing an action very soon in court. We have no other choice than to sue the administration. I expect to be sued. I shouldn't be sued. While the president and some lawmakers wage a new battle over the emergency declaration, the nearly 800,000 federal workers impacted by the last partial shutdown can breathe a sigh of relief. Well, the money from the National Emergency Declaration is expected to go towards the construction of 234 miles of the border barrier. And